Hey guys, Serial Simmer here. Welcome back to our Aspiration Challenge. This is our little mini series, the Friends of the Animals. And this little mini series, we are trying to complete the Friends of the Animals Aspiration. In our last episode, we built this greenhouse here and adjusted our lot somewhat. We are trying to focus more on gardening to earn money. So far that seems to be working much better for us than focusing on riding and fishing. Also, in last episode, we found out that Bernice Robles from the new Growing Together pack, her husband Ian passed away, and we kind of have a thing going on with Bernice, but told her that we weren't interested in continuing that thing until she figured things out with her spouse. But now that he's kind of out of the picture, as sad as it is, may he rest in peace, are thinking about maybe going and visiting her today and pursuing more of a relationship with her. So yeah, that'll be one of our goals today is visiting Bernice and seeing if we can't pursue something with her, as well as maybe getting Cod Pickles neutered so we don't have um, any puppies by him. And also just focusing on earning money. In part seven of this, um, challenge I would really 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 love to be able to afford beds for all my pets and um, actually build a proper house. So with all that said let's go ahead and jump into it today. It is Harvest Fest today which is actually amazing and great since the gnomes will give us some seed packets and we are focusing on gardening. So let's maybe go ahead and get Roxanne here up and start getting them to work and help them out here by cleaning up a little bit. Then maybe let's go ahead and try and appease some of these gnomes. This is always so hit or miss for me. And Roxanne has been feeling tense lately because in the last episode, we did get this um, pop-up getting married for money. It looks like we only have three days left. We weren't like totally sure if we were going to like go for this. It's not something we've been trying to make happen. But, you know, if things really hit it off with Bernice quickly and we happen to make a bunch of money off that, then, um, you know, we won't say no. We won't say no to that. All right, let's see if the alien gnome doesn't want some salad. Okay, no, he did not like the salad. So I'm thinking maybe let's go ahead and plead for forgiveness. Oh dear. That didn't work. Okay, well maybe we'll go ahead and leave him alone for now then and we will try to give this one a future cube maybe. Okay guys, it's not totally a lost cause. What about giving this one some coffee? Woohoo, okay, two out of three. A little worried about that one. Snook's working hard for us again. We wanted to get cod pickles neutered, but that's gonna cost us a pretty penny. Okay, let's go over here and check on our garden. It looks like we're doing good. All right, and now we are tense from the gnomes. The gnomes are watching, oh gnome you didn't. Roxanne has angered the garden gnomes and now they is on edge. <laughs> I have good use, good use of them, that pronoun. We've got Fiona over here scratching, that's not great. And then for our aspiration today, we do need to become companions with either Cod Pickles or Fiona, and then we need to fill the love two more times. I don't think that'll be hard at all. I would love to get her in a better place before we actually end this mini series. So I'm really hoping that we can earn some more money today so I can build her much more of a proper house. Okay, let's go ahead and fill the pet bowls. $18 from that. Roxana is now level two pet training and they can teach their dog to heal, shake, and play dead. Thank you, Snook, for being right on us. I think Snook maybe is feeling a little bit jealous of Pickles here. Cod Pickles is a smart dog. They're easy to train and learn things quickly. Awesome. Roxanne has acquired the logic skill from having a chat and intellectual discussion with Cod Pickles. All right, it does look like we can feel the love with cod pickles, but I'm wondering if we can become companions with them. Okay, Snook is a hairy dog, so we're gonna go ahead and brush them and then let's try to plead for forgiveness one more time. Because this guy is breaking our house. Could you please forgive us and just give us some seeds instead? 
Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. All right. Well, I guess we can just sell him. All right, 51 bucks for that guy. How was our relationship with Fiona? It's going pretty well. Oh, and Snook's been sprayed by his gunk. Here comes the bath counter, guys. Yay, we felt the love five times with our animals. And I am hoping that we can become... Oh, someone found us some more flowers or some feathers. Oh, gross. That. Can we just throw it away? It was my only option to pick it up. Okay, I guess we'll pick it up. Seagull feather, pigeon feather, and pheasant feather. Let's see how we're doing on that. Pigeon, I don't think we have. Pheasant, doesn't look like we have either. And I don't think we also have seagull. Sweet. And throw that away. Gross. Doing some, oh my gosh, some more. All right, what a good, good doggy. You definitely deserve a bath. Another seagull. Finch and Parrot, I think we have all of those. So that does mean though, that since we have all of them, we just double check, yep, we've got a Finch. Okay, so 190 for those three, good. And then we're definitely getting some more seeds here. One bath for Snook so far. Let's see if we can't open some more of these seed packets. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, no! Ooh! Make him stop, make him stop, look sure about eating poop. Oh, so sick. Oh no. Lecture about scratching. Come on, hurry up and bathe the dog. This is a never ending process. Don't eat poop ever. So, so gross. And then we need to tell Fiona to not scratch, please. Yay! All right, and then it's like four o'clock, so I'm thinking, why don't we go ahead and try and make like a pie or something and take it to Bernie's today. Okay, it doesn't look like we have the option to make a pie. So I think I'm gonna do the winter cake instead. Even though it's still fall, I think that's the most like festive looking one. Mm -hmm. And it's football team sports day, woohoo. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this. Oh, <gasps> what a good puppy. Okay. Um... Fire opal, woohoo. Okay, so then let's travel to go see Bernice. Fire opal is worth $84. And Snook is back at it. All right, so it looks like the Robles are over here in Anchor Point, Anchor Point Wharf, um, which is sort of the more industrial city center area of San Sequoia. So let's go ahead and go visit those guys. All right, let's go knock on the door and offer our cake. Let's see how this goes. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Bernice's kids as well. The samba. Ian and Bernice, so this is one of her kids, this teenager right here. This must be her dad. And then this is their other kid, Terrence Robles. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Ignacio as well. And then I thought it might be nice to go ahead and put this down here and we could just go ahead and call everyone to meal. She's like, I brought this wonderful cake. Let's all come have some of it. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's Bernice? There she is. Oh, she's still really full and sad. Maybe if we banter with her, that might cheer her up. Oh, George. Oh. Eric, that's a new. Oh. <laughs> Maybe now that her family has kind of walked off, we can go ahead and try a little flirt. 
Maybe we'll also just double check that she is still single. Who's a quimp? She seems to kind of move fast, so you never know. Looks like dad is over here washing his dishes, so hopefully that's not too awkward. Let's go ahead and ask to be introduced to her other kid. Somebody just introduce us to this kid. I feel like we're definitely showing that we're making an effort here. All right, where did Bernice go here? Maybe zoom out and see if we can find her somewhere. It looks like she's asleep. Maybe let's go wake her up. So we got a sentiment and she says, it really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. And we learned that she's also a geek. I wanna go see what the rest of our our relationship is, it's very complicated. Aren't love and hate two sides of the same coin? Best friends, amazing compatibility, and we, she's our key holder. Bernice's sentiments about Roxanne. Bernice is feeling hurt by Roxanne's rejection. She thought they were closer than that. Oh dear. Oh, cause she, oh, cause we said she couldn't move in. Well, that's kind of awkward, I guess. Hey, could you maybe like give us some space, buddy? Hmm, I wonder if we could maybe like go to a movie with Bernice. Watch a movie with, yes, watch Peter Barker's Homecoming hijinks, watch Sims, ooh, this one's a romantic one, right? Let's do this one. And Bernice is coming. She's just way over here walking very slow because she is so sad. Oh, it looks like it's some kind of cats and dogs movie too. That's so cute. Harvest Fest was awful. Really wasn't up to Roxanne's expectations. They didn't get to participate enough with the traditions that they liked, maybe next year. Okay, well, that's a bummer. So now we're sad because we had an awful holiday. I guess we should have brought a grand meal to celebrate instead of a cake. All right, well, Roxanne is here. I am not seeing Bernice coming out. Wait, there she is. Maybe let's try complimenting her appearance. A little flirt. Rigid romance from disliking the movie. Did the actors even like each other? With absolutely no chemistry, the movie fell flat. Oh no, she didn't like the movie. So that's for three hours. Maybe we can push through it. Let's try for an embrace if this goes well. All right, it looks like she really needs to go to the bathroom and we need to go home as well. So I think that's it for tonight. Hi, Bernice. Seems like we're getting back to being in a relationship with her. It's still complicated though. All right, and it is 3 a.m. So I think we're going to take a shower and eat something and go to bed. Maybe we can go ahead and keep these gnomes. Oh, the voting's open. Let's go ahead and petition for a repeal again. I heard my boss saying I would be a good candidate for promotion. Do you think I can do it? Do it, aim for the stars. Thank you for the encouragement, I will try to get it. Let's maybe do self-sufficiency. That seems like that would make sense for this. Petition for a repeal, free love. Roxanne has started a neighborhood action plan repeal process. Once the five required signatures have been gathered, the chosen action plan will be repealed at the end of the current voting period. Okay, so that's what we failed to do is get five signatures before the end of the period last time. All right, we need to go and weed, sell all. Pomegranates still haven't grown, which isn't, Awesome. Oh, and it looks like we also need to spray for bugs over here. And we've reached gardening level six, so that's awesome. Roxanne's becoming a true agriculturist, ag agriculturalist, and is now able to weed plants in a larger area. <gasps> and Snook and Fiona love each other. That is so sweet. We can seek some solace with Snook since she's our companion. And then I think I am going to let Snook out to go play because I don't have time to take them on a walk right now, but they're feeling a little bit trapped, I think. They want to go play. Wait, I thought I told you to let them out. The drop-off has been made. Don't be late. Okay. So where's Brittany Cho? Oh, Bernice is at our house. And we've got some kind of present. Snook, honey, you can go. We got another waterfall in a bottle. 
All right, now that we're on our lot, hopefully this should go up a lot faster. And now we're feeling really sad. Why are we so sad? Shared sadness from a close sentiment towards somebody feeling bad. Oh, because Bernice is feeling sad. So now we're feeling sad. I guess we have to try to cheer her up. Let me see here. Small talk. Oh, we can ask her for her pillow signature. Forgot we were going to do that last time. She just likes the color pink, okay? Okay, so she just flirted with us and our bar just went up a little bit, but we're still feeling sad because someone around us that we are, it's important to us because Bernice is feeling bad. Oh. Oh, now we're feeling confident. Go for it, go for it, go for it. We'll pick up line. What else can we do? Your compliment appearance. Maybe let's go for our first kiss. This isn't exactly the best spot, but hey, there's no time like the present. I think it'd be fun to kind of go over here, maybe, where we kind of like first were hanging out and maybe not in our tiny stinky house. Lend him. So Jimzabavi. Oh, Alright, I think maybe it'd be really cute. I know it's fast, but I think these two have been kind of playing with the idea of being together for a long time. So I think we're gonna go ahead and ask her to be our girlfriend. Yay! Oh jeez. All right, time for some housekeeping. Okay, and it looks like we can now become companions with Cod Pickles. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do this. Yay! So that should be the last part of this piece of our aspiration. Two out of four, so we're now three out of four on this aspiration. We only have one more to go. So our last things that we need to do, I believe, well, no, I guess this is our second to last set of things that we need to do. We need to play with two different ghost pets, which will be interesting. I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that. We need to feel the love with eight different pets. We need to be friends with 12 cats and or dogs at the same time. Okay, so this just got like way harder. <laughs> the last few things were pretty easy, but these are gonna be significantly more difficult. We have to fill the love with eight different pets. So that means we have to have a pretty dang high relationship with eight different pets. That's probably more than we're even gonna be able to fit in our household, especially since things are sort of heating up with Bernice and we may be combining households with her. And then 12 cats and our dogs at the same time. That's gonna be kind of hard as well, but I guess we can probably do that pretty quickly and easily here on Bridgeton Bay Beach. And then we've got to play with two different ghost pets. I don't know how we're gonna do that because I don't think this world has been around long enough for there to be very many ghost pets. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. I think we have done a lot this part. We went ahead and we got Bernice to be our girlfriend. We've met both her kids now and hung out with her family on Harvest Fest. We've made a bit more money, certainly not as much as I would have liked. I think next episode, that would be something I'd really, really, really love to focus on because I would really love to be able to combine households with Bernice and her family, but I also don't feel like making her kick any of her kids out or her father. So that's a lot of bedrooms. That's a big house that we need to be able to build. Um, so yeah, we need a significant amount of money for that. And we are on the last, the second to last set of our aspiration. So our little mini series is quickly coming to an end and I would love to be able to get Roxanne um, really set up 
so that they have a good life when we sort of say goodbye to them in this little mini series. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this part right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed watching, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any future parts. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.